Hello, doers. My name is Jose Ignacio. Now, I don't want to toot my own horn, but tooty toot toot. Business is booming here at Stealthy Wood. We're selling tons of products every single day. And that means that we're dealing with a bunch of quotations, sales orders, and invoices all of the time. And if we had to take care of those tasks by hand, it would be super annoying, very frustrating, and extremely time consuming. That's why we use Odoo's online quotations to create a quote, send it, and we have our customers sign and pay for it before they even receive an invoice. We can also suggest additional products to customers with these online quotations. Now, how does that work, you might ask? Well, think about it this way. Let's say that we sell one of our popular desks to a customer. Now, since they bought a desk, I may suggest a chair or perhaps a lamp to that same customer as an additional purchase to go with the new desk. Now, these optional products appear on the online quotation itself. Then with a single click, the customer can add those products to their quote and pay for everything all at once. It's just that simple. Now, I don't even need to talk about the customer or to the customer to upsell these products. Implementing optional products like this provides more revenue opportunities while increasing the visibility of other items. It's a real win-win situation. In addition, we can use pre-designed quotation templates that have optional products already built in, which saves our sales team a ton of effort. So, enough chit-chat. How about we dive headfirst into our Stealthywood database and see how online quotations work with Odoo. Let's kick things off here on the settings page of the sales application, which inside of the sales app can access from configuration, settings, and there we are. We're going to scroll down over here to quotations and orders because we have a few things we have to activate. Now, before we get too deep in the weeds here, we'll need to make sure that we have these settings activated, actually. The online signature, check. Online payment, quotation templates, and the quotation builder as well. Now, thankfully, we already have this locked and loaded, but if you still need to enable them, go ahead and do so. And don't forget to click save, and then you can finally move on. Now, something else that you should be aware of is that you'll need the website application installed in order to use the quotation builder setting. But don't you worry, Odooer, if you don't have that app yet, Odoo will automatically install it for you after you activate that setting. And that's pretty convenient, right? Well, now we can finally move on. Now let's create a quotation template from scratch. To get to the proper page to do that, we could go to the configuration, quotation templates right there. Or because I always give you a Jose Ignacio tip, we can actually just click over here on quotation templates. Both will take you to the same page, which as you can see here, has a couple of our templates already done. Now to create a new one, we actually just have to select new up here. And there are our various options. Now first we'll name this template. In our case, something easy to remember, conference room table. And we can spell today, which is great. Now up next, we have the option to select the amount of days the quotation expires after. This could be useful for seasonal sales or something like that. Black Friday, I don't know. But for this example, I'm going to leave it at a very season zero days. Now, up next, we have the online confirmation over here as an option. I'll want the boxes for both, in this case, signature and payment. That way, my customers can confirm the quotation online with an electronic signature, and they can also pay for it online as well. It's all about options, people. Then we have the confirmation email option right here, and then we can designate a templated email to be sent to the customer upon confirmation of the quotation. But if we leave it empty, nothing will be sent. So I'm go ahead, gonna, actually, we're just gonna leave that empty. I was gonna select one and then I changed my mind. Now, lastly, we have the opportunity to apply this quotation template to a specific company. If we're working inside of a multi-company, you know, type of situation. But if we leave it blank, it will apply to all companies in the database, which is kind of the better option. Since I want this quotation to be available at all times to every company, we're leaving a blank as well. All right, now let's direct our attention to the tabs down here, starting with the lines tab. Here, we'll click on add a product. And what did we just say this was? Well, it's a table. It's a big one, actually. Large meeting table. Perfect. And as you'll notice, we can even adjust a few things, such as the quantities. We can change stuff, such as the units of measure, if necessary. But for our template, we're going to leave it as one large meeting table. But we're not done yet. Let's jump into the optional products tab, which is what we've been talking about. 
I also want to suggest to them additional items that my customers who purchase our large meeting table and they might need this. So this is where we would do that. So to add some, we actually just click add a line. What goes well with a large meeting table? In our case, chairs? We're gonna do office chair. And then office chair, black. We'll give them the illusion of options. Remember, while you can technically add as many optional products as you want, you should be careful not to add too many as that could overwhelm your customers. And frankly, it'll make you look a little bit thirsty as the kids say. So try to only offer a few select items that would pair perfectly with their initial purchase. Alrighty, now that we have all of our quotation template configs ready to go, we now have the option to design the look and feel of the template. However, this quotation template is ready to use as is and will make for a very simple professional quotation. But that said, what if we want to go extra a step further and customize the design? We can actually totally do that by selecting the design template button up here. And doing so takes us to the template builder with blue template placeholders over here through the website application. Here we'll be able to thoroughly design the look and style of our quotation template using the same drag and drop building blocks that you'd find when designing a website. So to get started, select the edit button. Give it a second to load all its magic. Now we can change stuff by dragging it in. And in our case, using the sidebar full of a lot of customizations, let's go with a little bit of a basic design job here. I'm going to cover the basics so that you can get a feel for how the process works so we won't go too full into it. Now first, let's add a cover block over here. I'm gonna change this. We're gonna say, meet your new desk. Give it a little bit of a catchy thing in all caps so that we sound very threatening by our stuff. Beautiful. Now, the other thing that we want to do is replace this image over here. We can search for up. Oh, that one looks pretty good right there. I immediately went with it. And that's pretty much the gist of it. As you saw very quickly, I was able to change things here and add my own little cover right there. And that's how everything looks. And once that you're done, you hit save up here. Beautiful. All right, feel free to have fun with the template design when you get to this point. It's actually a blast to work with, as you saw me just kind of getting ridiculous. And as you saw, I don't know that you know this, but you didn't actually need to know any coding at all. That's really convenient, especially for me. All those ones and zeros give me anxiety. Anyways, now that we're happy with the design of the template, it's time to use this sucker in a sales order. So to do that, let's click back to edit mode. And in our case, we're gonna navigate over to the sales dashboard, new. And you're gonna see why we're doing this. So we gotta select a customer. And in our case, I keep selecting them because I'm bullying them as our interior. And then at this point, we will direct our attention to the quotation template field. Ah, you thought I was gonna add a product. We're actually gonna click on that field and you'll notice we could select our conference room table right there. And everything actually auto populates, so I didn't need to do that. And if we duck into the optional products, they've been added right there waiting for us as well. All right, since everything looks good here, let's go ahead and click send by email. And we'll give that a second right there while it loads all of that stuff. Look at that, everything looks beautiful. And as you'll notice, we're going to send our quotation template. So let's hit send. And once that that's all done over here, we can take a quick look. Alrighty, let's take a closer look at what you're going to see when they open it up, which we can do so by clicking on the customer preview smart button. Now doing so takes us to the exact quotation template that we just designed, which does look awesome, by the way, if I do say so myself. And if you scroll down, do you see that? That's what beauty looks like. That is our two optional products. It's right there and ready to go along. Now let's say that the customer wants to add one of those lovely office chairs to their quotation before confirming everything. Great, all they have to do is select card icon and boom, added. Instantly updated inside of the pricing section and everything. They could even adjust the quantity if they want down here and everything. And that's pretty cool. All right, now let's say that this customer is ready to complete this order. All they have to do is actually just click sign in pay. And they can either use an automated version of an online signature, draw one of their own, or upload one. And then they'll just basically click accept and sign, which is right there. 
Ah. And then once that they do that, guess what also happens? Once that they do that, there is another pop-up that occurs. And that is basically telling them it's time to select your own payment method. And then they can select pay. And that's it. They're done. That took minutes. Now, if we click outside of here and we go back to the edit mode to return to the sales order over here. And I actually want you to scroll down over here or actually check over here to the right. You'll notice that there are two options. It's a message letting us know that we're just waiting on that payment as well as the fact that they have actually signed. And it's a nice little PDF also to check it out. And if we had to set up one of the other many payment methods that Odoo provides, that payment would have already been automatically processed. But either way, it's good to know that you can find all the information you need over here on the right side in our chatter. And there you have it, Odooers. You just saw how easy it is to utilize and customize online quotations with Odoo Sales to save your company valuable time while generating a ton of revenue. And not only that, it also enhances and simplifies the overall shopping experience for your customers. Like I said before, it's always a win-win situation. So have a great day, Odooers.